ASMR world back in your sleep. Um, yeah, it's a Friday. Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. The last Friday of September. Wow, how the month flies when you're on holiday. We was on holiday for a week. Um, at the beginning of the month, so I guess the month is going to be quick. You know, you, when people say time flies, it doesn't really, does it, in the respect of it feels like ages since I was in the nice warm weather of Spain. And now, or yesterday, Christ Almighty, I might as well have jumped in the washing machine. It was so wet here in the north of England. I got absolutely drenched walking the dog. He didn't mind. He was loving being out, but oh God. Anyway, it's Friday. We're gonna do some Premier League predictions and chat. At the end, we're gonna do something a little bit different from now on. Just to make these videos a little bit more interesting. We'll get into that at the end, okay? It won't be long. A little, a little bit. Okay, so anyway, Premier League predictions for Saturday and Sunday. Is there a Monday game? There is indeed a Monday game. Saturday, New Asle. It's New Asle United against. Do I accent that was? Oh, yeah, man. Anyway, it's Newcastle United against Manchester City. Manchester. Manchester City. Um, in the half 12 kickoff. 12.30 kickoff. So, before we get into this game, well, it's part of this game, the talk of the game. Um, it turns out City are without Rodri for like a long time. He picked up a bad ACL injury against Arsenal. It's a bloody shame. Like, a I'm a rival City fan, as in I'm a United fan. But that bloke is class. Like, he's a Rolls Royce of a midfielder. Rodri is. Yeah, he's like a um, Patrick Vieira and Roy Keane. Rodri in, into one. So rather than roll into one, he's a Rodri into one. Um, very simple for me. You know, it reminds me of both of them types of players. Molded. Maybe even sticking to Stevie G. Yeah, for his passing ability. That's it. Stevie G. So, no, forget the Stevie G. Boss goals. Vieira and Keane. If you could mould them all into one player, you got Rodri. What a great player he is, and he's going to be out for probably the season. And for his sake, forget City. For his sake, I hope he comes back at full fitness. Because what a loss of a career that could be if he, if he had more injuries after. Um, like going forwards, that'd be a real shame. Anyway, City have got Newcastle away. Um, and I think Newcastle have had a week, like, haven't played since the weekend. City had to play midweek, but come on, they weren't playing any of their um, players who started on against Arsenal, were they? Off to admit, they were anyway. And they probably weren't playing any players that will be starting against Newcastle. Or maybe like one or two. But maybe didn't play against Arsenal, though. We have, well, Man City have the issue of worrying about Harvey Barnes now. Holy hell. This lad has scored three goals in three league games consecutively. Very good play. Anthony Gordon also in fine form for Newcastle and England recently. Alexander Isak, very good striker. Uh, Guerrish, they've got Tenali back now this season, back playing for Newcastle. At home, in front of their fans, in a half twelve kickoff, with no Rodri in the side, and you know, quite a busy playing schedule. This could be difficult for Man City if, if they didn't have Haaland, but they do. So, on his own, he could win this for them. He might not do much else in the game, but he's capable of scoring that one goal or two goals even, and then just. Doing so off the rest of the match. And that might be what it takes. Because 
I think Newcastle away at half 12 is not a game I'd want for Man United. No chance. And if I was a City fan, I wouldn't be looking forward to it either. Um, I reckon a draw. I really do. I think City could drop points here. We could actually see the start of some issues without Rodri. I think last season there was three games that I read the other day. And all three games. Or the, sorry, the they played three games at Rotary in the team and all three games they lost last season so yeah I reckon a draw at least for Newcastle they might sneak a win but their fans and their players will be well up for this game and uh, yeah I can see them if their defence is strong enough because Newcastle's defence is not the best is it I mean they tried to get Mark Gay for ages didn't get him I don't know if they brought anybody else I can't remember now in defence in replace of the gay signing, I don't think they did. But yeah, I'm gonna go with a draw. One all draw. Arsenal Leicester, three o'clock. Arsenal win. I'm sorry, Leicester fans, you've had a couple of good results. A couple of results I didn't expect them to get recently. Um, but they they got a little draw with Everton. They um, did they. Draw with Spurs, or bit of the beat Spurs, I can't remember now. The draw away at Palace, draw away at Palace, draw with Everton, and it was a draw with Spurs, wasn't it? I seem to think so. So, yeah, they've had some good results in, in comparison to what I expected for Leicester. But go on, you're going away to Arsenal. Nobody really scores at Arsenal these days, not very often. I do not see Leicester doing it. Um, Arsenal to win 3 or 4 nil, and yeah, although Leicester's defence has been pretty good looking at their results recently, they've been getting battered, I just think Arsenal put it on them, or even maybe it's just a 2-0 win, because Arsenal don't score that many goals today, and you never know, yeah, I'm going to go 2-0 Arsenal, because Leicester ain't conceding stacks of goals either, Brentford West Ham, the Julian Lopetegui era could be coming to an end sooner than he would have liked. What's going on there? So strange. They got bad 5-1 away Liverpool in the Carabao Cup a couple of days ago. They, I think they're all without a win in the league. Had a couple of draws. They got bad against Chelsea on the weekend 3-0. Now, one of the issues West Ham have here is, okay, Lopetegui's previous Premier League experience was at Wolves. We took off at Wolves. There was a lot of expectation. Wolves fans wanted to stay in the league and get some decent results against some of the bigger teams. He did that. They did both of those things. But this wasn't the same Wolves that they had under new now. Now Lopetegui had to, he seen players leave. He wasn't allowed to really strengthen with the players he wanted to. expectation of like, charging for Europe in top 8 which sure is at West Ham and he's struggling bad Brentford at home to West Ham, Brentford's result on the weekend was let's have a little look um, they lost away at Spurs but what a goal from Brian and Buemo and Brentford put in a good performance West Ham lost to Chelsea out 3-0 I think we could see a Brentford win here. I really do. I, I, I like Brentford. I like Thomas Frank. Um, I've always been a big fan. I mean, you had Ivan Tony, who was like their star name. But then underneath, you know, not even underneath, all right, when he was out for his massive ban for gambling, and, um, and now he's left as well. You know, they've always had Brian and Buermo. Uh, you are with that. Both have been popping up with goals in that time to, you know, more than comfortably keep Brentford up. I think we get a Brentford win and a Brighton and Buemo goal against West Ham. I'm going to go 2-0 to Brentford. Chelsea Brighton. Oh, it's Chelsea against their feeder club. Wow. In a free club kickoff. Well, annoyingly, I don't mean annoyingly, Chelsea. 
see them doing a lot better than I wanted them to do. They're actually winning games and scoring goals. And it's really annoying. Yeah, so Brighton, their manager's pretty good, any. I mean, are we shocked? Wow, shock horror. Brighton hire a new manager no one's heard of, and he's pretty good. It's almost like it's a trend. Two arms to Leicester. Are you going to 
away to a team who are scoring goals quite well themselves in Everton. I think Everton get the lead and they'll keep it this time. Everton win for me. Um, 2-0 to Everton. Forest, Fulham. Forest are good. Like, for the club, I've seen them and their results I've seen. They're a lot better than I expected this season. Morgan Gibbs, why? Great play. Uh, you got the lad, former Chelsea lad, was his name?
last weekend's result. Um, doop, 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 doop. They lost away at Liverpool. Weekend before that. Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. Um, or was it internationals the weekend before? Must have been. Yeah, it was. Uh, bear with me. I went back too far, I think. Um, to Chelsea we, I, I think um, Bournemouth can get a result um, I'm not yeah they will do what I said they're out Southampton Bournemouth to win 2-0 in this match and that concludes the predictions for the Premier League on last Friday my last Friday's predictions for September <laughs> right so quickly look at what I'm going to show you bear with me one moment. Hopefully I can get this done in time. Bear with me. Just trying to multitask here. My wife always says I can't do it. I'm trying to prove her wrong. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> That's quite a surprise. Isn't it? Flip me. <laughs> Wait there. So, any, anyone who follows my channel recently anyway well no I'm collecting football cards like not the way I used to like buying packs and packs and packs but buying uh, like ordering specific cards so it might be like from players I have a lot of good memories of when I was younger or current players etc etc here we have my latest card to arrive be sure I'm show my address no, it's all right. I didn't lift it up high enough. Right, so this player, most of you will be like, who? Because you're too young to know who he is. If you're my age, you'll know. And it was such a random card to order. Like, the person who sent it probably thought, why? They probably thought I was a Leeds fan. When I was, what age? Let me see when he, what he, season he played for them. Uh, playing career. So I'll tell you who he's played for. There we go. He played for Asante Kodoko in 81 to 83. Then Kona Stars, Kumasi, 83 to 85. Okawu United, 86 to 87. There he got 35 goals in 35 games. Um, FC Sabrukun. 88-90 There we got 26 goals in 65 games Eintracht Frankfurt 1990-95 68 goals in 128 games Before moving on to Leeds United 95-97 to He got 24 goals in 47 matches He then went on to Hamburg And finished his career at, at Al Ittihad Famous now, I think it's where Ronaldo is isn't he? he got 5 goals in 22 games he's got 29 in 59 for Gala and apparently he's, he, well, he's 58 now and he's still playing he plays for somebody at the minute it says here um, yeah 21st of September he was playing for uh, FC Nostromen he plays as midfielder Flip me he's 58 anyway this bloke has scored a cracker of a goal, and this card is apparently like it is the day he scored that goal, I guess, or whatever that's what it says anyway. But what a player! Like, it annoyed me when I was young because he played for Leeds, and he was there for two seasons, and 95 to 97, I was like between 10 and 12. I was 10 and 95. What a player! Let me show you. Thank you. 
countries, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.